Our planet Earth is blessed with vast natural resources needed to support all forms of life. Land and water are the primary natural resources essentially required for all primary production systems to meet the needs of mankind and other living beings on the Earth. The southern hilly ecosystem of India largely lies in the western and eastern Ghats, of which the western Ghats primarily constitute the high rainfall hilly region. This hilly ecosystem, though bestowed with rich and diversified natural resources, suffers from serious land degradation processes, namely soil erosion due to high intensity rainstorms, steep slopes coupled with faulty land use and management practices, deforestation and mining activities, reservoir sedimentation, and non-point source pollution. Alarmed by the enormity of soil erosion problems in this region, the Government of India established a Soil Conservation Research, Demonstration and Training Centre at Udagamandalam in Tamil Nadu on the 20th of October 1954. Later on, this centre, along with other such centres under the Ministry of Agriculture, Government of India, were transferred to the Indian Council of Agricultural Research in 1967 and subsequently brought under the administrative control of the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, in 1974. The primary mandate of the research centre is to undertake research and develop technologies for controlling land degradation under all primary production systems and rehabilitating degraded lands in the high rainfall high regions of southern India. Imparted specialised training on soil and water conservation and watershed management and demonstrating package of practices for higher production without deteriorating natural resources also form an integral component of the mandate of the center. The thrust areas of research are covered through seven programs, namely water erosion appraisal in southern hilly regions, conservation measures for sustainable production systems, hydrological behavior of watersheds for conservation planning, rehabilitation of areas affected by mass erosion, participatory integrated watershed management, socio-economic analysis and policy development for watershed management and human resource development and technology transfer. The research centre established in an area of about 80 hectares comprises of a main office building which accommodates research laboratories, the library, conference hall, museum come exhibition hall, computer cell and cartography lab, trainees hostel with guest rooms, staff residential quarters, farm office building and a research farm with meteorological observatory, farm ponds, experimental come demonstration plots, tea plantations and forest area. The research and development strategies initiated by the research centre have helped in evolving appropriate technologies to effectively tackle the land degradation problems in the region. The centre has characterised the resources of the Western and Eastern Ghats and the coastal belt of India to serve as a base for preparing a sustainable resource conservation plan in the region. The centre has also developed soil erosion and soil loss tolerance limit maps of Tamil Nadu and Kerala states. These maps show that despite relatively deep and non-erodible soils, High intensity rainfall is causing serious soil erosion problems in the hilly region of the Western Ghats. Over a period, the research centre has developed a large number of cost-effective agronomic, mechanical and bioengineering conservation measures to enhance the productivity on arable and non-arable lands. To improve the soil quality under vegetable production system, Integrated nutrient management package consisting of optimal doses of organic manure and chemical fertilizers with residue recycling, liming, biofertilizers and bioagents significantly improve the soil properties and increase the yield of vegetables up to 71% over the farmer's practice. To tackle the erosion problem on sloping lands, bench terracing is recommended as an effective mechanical measure for reducing soil loss by 71% and runoff by 64% to 
besides conserving valuable nutrients and rainwater. For protective come productive utilization of bench terrace risers, planting of two rows of tea or perennial beans or medicinal and aromatic plants like cineraria and geranium were found effective and highly economical. Well-established tea on terrace risers would yield about five to six tons of green tea leaves annually from risers of one hectare of terraced land. The cost-effective and eco-friendly vegetative barriers across the slope helped in the natural formation of terraces that are commonly known as the Puerto Rican terraces. Plants like Guatemala grass, hybrid napier and geranium were found to be quite effective in terrace formation within three to four years at reasonable cost apart from reducing runoff and soil loss and yielding several other benefits. For effective soil and water conservation in the Western Ghat region, a mixed vegetative barrier consisting of two rows of pineapple and one row of grass reduced runoff by 52% and soil loss by 33% besides conserving nutrients. To check soil erosion and to sustain productivity in new tea plantation areas, contour staggered trenches or CST with cover crop of French beans increased the yield of green tea leaves by 37% and reduced runoff by 51% and soil loss by 64% over the tea plantation with no conservation measures. Long-term hydrological studies on small watersheds indicated that an agricultural watershed with proper soil conservation measures proved as effective as a well-maintained forest watershed with only 5% runoff against 10% in the agricultural watershed without proper soil and water conservation measures. Hydrological implications of converting natural grassland into eucalyptus plantations in the Nilgiris resulted in a significant reduction in water yield by 16 and 26 percent during the first and second rotations respectively. The outcome of this study resulted in a policy decision by the Tamil Nadu government to ban further exotic tree plantations in the region. The centre has undertaken several programmes sponsored by various central and state government ministries such as the Ministry of Agriculture, Ministry of Rural Development, Ministry of Water Resources, etc., for effective dissemination and demonstration of developed technologies at the farmers' fields following the watershed approach. The Centre is actively involved in developing live models on participatory integrated watershed management on farmers' fields, Sailur and Ailur watersheds in the semi-arid region and Iduhatti in high rainfall area are the living examples of sustainable development and rural transformation in the region. Resource conservation measures like field bunding, vegetative barriers, dryland horticulture, micro-irrigation systems, farm ponds and drainage line treatment technologies were amply demonstrated for their outputs and economic benefits. Formation of community-based organizations like self-help groups, users groups, watershed committees and watershed associations paved the way for sustainable livelihood security. The center conducts different types of capacity building programs. These include regular training courses for graduate assistants deputed by state governments and tailor-made short courses of one to two weeks duration in the field of soil and water conservation, agroforestry and watershed management sponsored by central and state governments, autonomous bodies and NGOs. A one-month summer practical training program is also organized for undergraduate students deputed by various state agricultural universities. The Centre has undertaken several outreach programs to create mass awareness about the technologies related to conservation of soil and water and watershed management in the southern hilly region. These include field demonstrations, Farmers' Day, National Resource Conservation Week, National Science Day, etc. The Research Centre collaborates with state agricultural universities, 
HADP and other R&D organizations, developmental departments, NGOs and other agencies working in the region for promoting resource conservation and maintaining ecosystem integrity. In recognition of their outstanding contributions and achievements, the scientists of this research center have been honored with several prestigious awards. The center has brought out several useful publications for different kinds of functionaries engaged in the field of soil and water conservation and watershed management. The Udagamandalam Research Center under the Central Soil and Water Conservation Research and Training Institute, Dehradun, is dedicated to evolve appropriate strategies for eco-restoration, tackling land degradation problems, improving productivity, food security, and the economic status of the farmers of this southern hilly ecosystem of India.